intelligence. First there was Partha Chatterjee, then there was Anubrata Mandal, and now it is the West Bengal law minister. His name is Moloy Ghatak. Very serious allegations piling up. It seems it's going to be really difficult times ahead for Mamta Banerjee. Denials, distancing, not enough. Ladies and gentlemen, all of Bengal is talking about it. Let's debate. Regarding the coal scam in West Bengal, the CBI officials are very much active nowadays and it was just a matter of time when the CBI officials would be going to meet or for a raid in Mola Ghatak's house. And uh, today itself I saw that we, it was seen that uh, Mola Ghatak's uh, six premises uh, were actually uh, severely raided. Bengal has already seen that Unuproto Mondol and Partho Chattopadhyay, who are quite influential people in Bengal, and Trinamul Congress leaders who have been already sent behind the bars. And now people of Bengal are actually thinking whether Mola Ghatok will also be sent behind the bars or what will be the fate of Mola Ghatok in recent future or in coming days. Now, the still what the people of Bengal are saying that still Trinamul Congress leaders or uh, the spokesperson who are defending Defending Molay Ghatok or people like them who are related to the coal scam or cattle uh, smuggle, smuggling scam or whatever the uh, the scams are related to these people. And still, when questions are being arisen, this is the thing that to be noticed that people of Trinamool Congress or uh, the the followers of Trinamool Congress or Mamata Banerjee, they are still defending these people and protesting why CBI or ED is coming and questioning. This ministers or influential people of Trinamool Congress. ED আমাকে সমন দিয়েছিল প্রায় এক বছরের আগে ED যতবার আমাকে বলেছে আমি ততবার যা কাগজ চেয়েছে সব জবাব দিয়েছে একটাও কাগজ পেন্ডিং নেই তারা দেখেছেন তারা সার্চ করেছেন কিন্তু আমার অদ্ভুত লাগলো सीबीआई কে যে তারা আমাকে ডাকলেন না কোনো জিজ্ঞাসাবাদ করলেন না তো আমার একটাই বক্তব্য যে দেখুন খালি মেলাইন করার জন্য কাউকে বদনাম করার জন্য after the severe raids by CBI, Molag Hotok, who had conducted a press conference, he said only the BJP leaders and spokesperson are getting this allegation against him that he is associated with the coal scam. And he is challenging if someone is challenging uh, other than the BJP people is challenging or putting an allegation against him that he is related or he is associated with the coal scam, he will be resigning from politics. Against this allegation, Molay Ghatok is saying that if his allegation that has been uh, put against him, that he is associated with coal scam, if it is proven, he will be resigning the day it is proven. And he is putting a challenge against the BJP that they cannot, can never, they can never prove this allegation. And as he says that only 14 thousand rupees have been seized from his house. This is what the CBI have got from the raids. Let's keep it very specific. Riju Datta, what is the difference between Moloy Ghatak and Partha Chatterjee? You were forced to sack Partha Chatterjee because of his corruption because of his corrupt deeds, because of the scam which you had earlier said is not true. Now what we want to know, what is the difference between Molai Ghatak and Partha Chatterjee? These two leaders of your party. Okay, very specific answer and I'll, and I'll stay on top. And very specific answer and I'll stay on <coughs> point of coal smuggling only. Uh, first of all, Partha Chatterjee was arrested and after 21st July on 22nd July and since 21st July our Martyrs Day rally 10 of our leaders <coughs> have been interrogated and some of them arrested. Number one point after Partho Chatterjee got arrested there was up, uh, you know, the, what, we, what we call, there was a uh, anger in people of Bengal who have voted for us thrice and my National General why Secretary were they angry? said, giving the... Why, why were the people, people angry? Just have, sorry to uh, intervene, but why were the people the angry? Why, you said there was anger in people of Bengal, why were the people angry? The people were, the pe 
yes it it is not because of any investigating procedures but the hordes of cash that was found in the house of the close aide of partho chatterjee which means because of the Along corruption you the mean the media trial of the reels of that particular woman and everything so no, you said because see, of the corruption, corruption of your of, uh, because of I his corruption people were angry because of corruption it. people are angry no, so how no, do you no, know people won't be angry I, about the cold scare no 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 please do not un 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 you are a very esteemed journalist please don't try to put words in my mouth it was the corruption is still not proven yet in the court of law then why did you sack the him hordes of cash that got got were, were collected from you the could have said the ed made market. it all up we we gave the benefit of people because the people of the you say you can't trust ED the ed is doing see ed the pictures were released by the ed they are investigating procedures <clears throat> no no ed and cb we say the ed lies are, uh, can you say that are you saying that the uh, the picture No I am saying this categorically on see ED is an investigating agency they are But you say they are liars who is innocent or guilty Why do you have to respond the to what liars claim be, I, I Anyway what's the difference between Molloy Ghatak and Partha Who said we uh, we said that ED You sacked Partha why wouldn't you act on Molloy exactly, What's the difference, the difference between the two Between Molloy Ghatak and and i'm giving you not only uh, molay ghatak also include anubhuta mandal in that list and the difference is very <coughs> simple the ed and the cbi are being used for political no, vendetta but, by but but GP are you saying that they, they are not being used for political use vendetta in partha's case only being used for political vendetta in anubhuta's case i my question is on point you promised to answer my question specifically what is the difference between molay ghatak and partha chatterji that's all i'm asking you If you if you don't let me finish, uh, then I cannot answer you, right? I'll tell you the difference now. Let me give you some extraordinary facts and figures which we have submitted to the investigative agencies, and they are not doing anything. Hopefully, Republic can do for us. Number one, Partho Chatterjee. In case of Partho Chatterjee, cash was recovered. In case of Molloy Ghatak, only fourteen thousand rupees is recovered. <laughs> Number two, there is an anger among people. People of Bengal, in case of Anubhuta Mandal and Molloy Ghatak, have understood that this is a political vendetta by the central agencies. Number three, and this is the this is a common fact. Partho Chatterjee was arrested for some uh, corruption in the SSC recruitment. Molloy Ghatak is interrogated without any proper jurisdiction in the coal scam case. Coal mafia case. scam. Now, yeah. uh, Anubhuta Mandal in the cattle smuggling case. Cattle, cattle this, smuggling. I, Coal smuggling, teacher, teacher scam. How many scams? Republican other. So many scams. Can you let me finish, please? Can you let me finish, please? So my point, I've said this hundred times that cattle smuggling, coal smuggling, if the borders are by BSF, coal collieries are guarded by CISF. It is under the Home Minister. It's a Home Minister scam. That is why we are wearing this. Why doesn't okay, anybody now. ask this man? Who is and whose purview BSF and CISF operates? Okay. Now, the, uh, the MP of the BJP the is saying CISF is setting up the cell tower. Please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. Please sit down. Dilip Ghosh. Please sit down. Why doesn't they Thank ask Dilip Ghosh? Now, the, now I, I get a response from I didn't get an answer <laughs> to my Papu question. This Papu needs to be interrogated. Now I didn't get an answer to my question. Uh, <clears throat> fundamentals here. Person in person is a four-time MLA, Shahzad, and uh, from Asansol. he's got several summons he's not appearing in some of the summons and they are saying there's no evidence against him cbi sources say we have evidence against him <clears throat> are you just determined to arrest another minister is that the is that the sole intention you know anna if, if that is the intention we should be candid about it that you are after the ministers and, and and if why now and why not earlier this could have been done earlier the investigation has been on for a while arnab then by that logic if the second question that you asked that mm. shows that it's not vindictive it shows <coughs> that it is not vendetta driven it shows that it's happening as per the right time and as per law but today people are saying no, but your leaders are saying the government will fall by december and Ma your political Manu. leaders your political leaders of the bjp dilip ghosh shubhendu all the leaders shukanto they are all saying that the bengal government will fall by december right and on the one side there is that campaign on the other side the ministers yeah, on the scale of corruption this government houses. has already fallen but me it every day falls to a new low so that's Arna, your that's every your every day this corruption right red in government this scam red in government is falling to a new low so they are absolutely right this government is falling <coughs> every day it will fall in december when republic further, when republic bangla launched when, when, when republic bangla launched when when republic bangla launched we did a we did an investigation on the coal scam and we found a lot of evidence 
how is how is it that we can do an investigation within a Absolutely. week and the CBI has been I, CBI since 2020 has been investigating pilferages filed an FIR against Anup Baji and uh, alias Lala in the, as the alleged kingpin besides ECL CBI, general managers how is the CBI, CBI taking so long Arna, because the CBI doesn't have to broadcast it at 9 p.m. It has to make a watertight case and prove it in court of law. So while you have to broadcast it at 9 p.m., they have to work a little harder uh, and make sure that it sticks in the court of law. And that's exactly what they've done in the uh, scam, scam, in the cattle smuggling scam, in the SSE scam, in the uh, chip fund scam. And now tell me if these scams are all fictions of imagination. One, minute, yes. one second, Mr. Dutta, why are you so eager to defend the corrupt? Why are you so eager to defend the corrupt? Why are you so eager to defend I the corrupt? Please wait for question. Sir. In this coal, ga- in this coal scam, question, do you know Shazad? that these people were Can told by the Supreme question? Court that the state government minute, should stop you. interfering in the work of the... Uh, you take the question... Is it not true that the SSC okay, you take the question. He's asking her. by the Calcutta High Court? <coughs> is it not Can true that in the house question? of a low-level TMC worker, 80 lakh rupees and 2.7 crore rupees in the house of Rajesh Hani was recovered? No, no, you can ask questions, Riju, but before that you must also answer questions. It's one minute, one minute. Why is Mr. Riju Datta... Riju, Riju, Riju. One minute, Riju. Why is Mr. Riju Datta so eager to defend Riju, the Riju, 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 Riju. I just tell no, you. See. Before you, before you ask questions, I have a question. Riju Datta. Before you, before you, one before second, you ask questions, I let let me ask one the questions. Second, one second, one minute, 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 one all I am saying is that when the SSC Baba. scam took place in May 2022, the High Court passed an order for eight CBI probes. They had said Paresh Adhikari's daughter was wrongly appointed. Did, did Ms. Mamta Banerjee sack Paresh Adhikari? How long did she take to sack oh Mr. Adhikari? Reduce, reduce, turn now, reduce. Case of institutionalization of corruption and corruption of every institution. Why are we digressing? I, I don't know why Mr. Punawala is digressing. Why are we digressing? We are in fact on the right point. The, last the point TMC is that why is it that TMC every scam leads to the Mr. doorstep Mr. of TMC? Okay, Shazad, the other counter. Why is it that every Shazad, the other counter. Answer me this leads question. to the doorstep of TMC? Please answer. Shazad, I will ask one question if you, if you stop. One question. We have given these documents to the CBI and ED. And I am giving, I am saying this on record on Republic. And the BJP spokesperson can answer this. The primary accused in the coal scam is Vinay Mishra, who has fled the country and is absconding. On 21st and 22nd of September 2021, <coughs> at 6 o'clock in the evening, in Nizam Palace, the CBI headquarters of Bengal, Shubendu Odikari met his brother on two d- d- <coughs> days continuously in the CBI headquarters before Vinay Mishra fled the country. Why is EDCBI not calling the leader of opposition, Shubendu Odikari, for an inquiry in the coal smuggling case? Can anybody please answer me this? And I'm saying this on record. And now, I challenge CBI and now, ED to question him. He's being mentioned question? also can in I the CBI ED chart sheet of Naroda and Sharoda scam. Mr. Mr. But can he's can sitting on the lap of the Home Minister. Uh, Mr. Riju Datta. Okay, now, now, Riju. Answer Riju, my question, sir. Shahzad, we have limited question. time. Question. You respond to it. Respond to it. Respond to it. Respond to it. But if I'm not mistaken, before Shahzad responds, before Shahzad responds, before Shahzad responds, if I'm not mistaken, I remember sometime in August 2021, right? Uh, Vinay Mishra's brother, uh, who is also a businessman and by the way happens to be a leader of the Trinamool Congress, uh, his name is Vikas, is, is named by the ED in its charge sheet as a prime accused. So I don't know what you're talking about. I am talking about. I exactly no, no, I don't know what you are talking about. I just contradicted you. On 21st and 22nd of I September, contradicted you with facts. He was named on the evening. charge sheet. What are you talking about? No, no, I am, I am telling you, Vikas, this same guy who is mentioned in the chat sheet, Vinay Mishra's brother, Vikas Mishra, met with Shubhendu. Shahzad, respond. Your turn, respond. September in Nizam Palace at 6 now, o'clock. Before we close, very, respond. Very interesting. Look, I very interesting. You this is the Thank you. Let time. him respond now. Your this question is, is true. first time. Now, Mr. Riju Datta, can I respond? Mr. Riju Datta, can you have the patience to listen to the response? Riju Datta, please, the please. spokesperson of the TMC, is saying that this is a BJP I mean, scam, Baba, and yet when the that. central agencies are investigating it, he's saying it's vendetta politics. How can you be so contradictory, Riju Datta? Either this is a scam, 
that has your netas involved and you are feeling the heat when it is investigated or you are saying there is a squad that has other leaders involved and you don't have a problem with it. What is your stand? Do you have a problem with the CBI investigating it or you don't have a problem? First, to clarify that, with other parties, secondly, the court has said on record that the question, state government of West Bengal is trying to obstruct the probe into the coal scam. Why are you doing that if this is an entirely a scam which has nothing to do with do your party? Thirdly, why is it that every scam is on the doorstep of the TNC, the cut money scam, the syndicate scam, the he scam of the chick fund scam, the SSC scam, your leaders have been named by court order. Was it Mr. Paresh Adhikari's daughter's appointment cancelled? Was it not true that their daughter's appointment was cancelled by the He's changing the yes no? and, not answering my question. And that is the end of the debate tonight. We'll continue that another day. What a fight between Shahzad and Riju. We're going to follow this up another day. And I'll see you tomorrow at 9, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Good night and goodbye.